Hello Mega Shot Gamer, this is 1984 Terminator here, and I'm responding to your question about Metal Gear Solid. Uh, probably my favorite, and I'm trying not, and I'll try not to make this too my response too long because I got to talk about another game series. But um, my favorite uh, Metal Gear Solid has to be Snake Eater because that was the very first Metal Gear Solid game that I had played on, uh, played ep and then I had played two on the Xbox, and I had played Twin Snakes on the uh, GameCube, which was a remake of the first game from the PlayStation One. But yeah, and, and, then I, and then I have four here for the PS3, which is fantastic, by the way. Um, we have this whole Metal Gear Solid series, which is great. Um, like I said, three was my favorite, because it was the very first one I had played. Uh, and Big Boss, and then, when I get, and then it went over to Snake. It was just, <laughs> the gameplay hadn't changed much and, and all that. Um, my favorite characters would probably have to be Snake and Big Boss, and my favorite villains would have to be Ocelot and uh, Liquid Snake. And the things I like about it is the story and the characters. One thing I did not like about it was the clunky controls, if it had any clunky controls. Because especially on the GameCube version where I had to press start and B just to, you know, pause the game was kind of ridiculous. But other than that, I mean, that's probably my only gripe. But other than that, I mean, I would give the whole series like a 9.5. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting the Metal Gear Solid HD collection like what you have. So that's been my answer to your question, make a shot about Metal Gear Solid. Now I'm going to switch over and talk about another game series that I'd like to ask you a question about. It. Okay, this game series that I have here, I never played on the PS2, and I kind of regret it, is this one right here. Sly Cooper Collection. Uh, it's got Sly Cooper and Thievius Raccoonus, Sly 2 Band of Thieves, and Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. Um, these games here came out previously on the PS2, and I had never played these games on the PS2. And I was hearing such great things about these games, and I was like, oh man. And, and I saw this announced at E3, and I was like, oh man, I have to go pick this up. You know, I, I, I regret not playing these on the, on the PS2. Well, I'm telling you right now. This series was worth the forty dollars. Was worth the forty dollar investment. It was worth it because probably my favorite one out of these three would probably be Sly Cooper Two, and then probably the weakest one would be Sly Three, just because it has so many characters all jumbled into one. But I'm not saying Sly Three is bad. I'm just saying it was not as good as one and two. But still, all three of these games here are great. Um, three. If I had to give all these out of 10, Sly 3 would probably get an 8.5 out of 10, Sly 1, 9, Sly 2, 9.5. So, but yeah, I just, these three platformers here are fantastic uh, because it has mini games uh, within the games themselves and it also has like, it also has like stealth, it has action, it has a story and it has just, you know, great characters. and. <laughs> And one, one thing I really like about this series is that each character has their own strength. You know, Sly is about stealth and stealing things from the enemies. Bentley is all about the techno is all about technology. He's like the technological genius of, of the gang. And Murray's the muscle. So he, he's known for like taking thugs down and whatnot. And Bentley's just known for like hacking, uh, you know, you know, hacking to get into some place on the game and whatnot. So it's just a fantastic series, Mega Shot. And uh, my question to you, Mega Shot, is: Have you ever played any of the Sly Cooper games? And if you have, what did you not like about them, and what did you like about them? And are you a big Sly Cooper fan? So this is 1984 Terminator here, and uh, I am looking forward to hearing from you soon. Deuces.